Good day ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Success Talks with Coach Team Ngate, a show designed to inspire and motivate you with real life stories of those people that have made it in life and also to equip and to empower you with the different tools that one needs to achieve success in different areas of life. And I am your host for this particular edition, Coach Tendai Mungate. Um, remember to like, share and comment on this particular broadcast. Um, ladies and gentlemen, with me today on the show is um, award winning entrepreneur, um, he is a philanthropist and is the managing director of one of Zimbabwe's ICT systems, um, integrators, compiling systems. Mr. Simon Nyambuda, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Coach Tendai. Uh, we are very much honored to be having you once again, though it's a different platform now. Yeah, um, Mr. Nyambuda, I'm sure there are some people who are watching um, this show who don't know who you are. Please do care to introduce yourself to the people watching. Great. Um, thanks so much for having me on the show, Coach Tendai. Uh, I consider it a great honor and a privilege to be on this show. Um, a brief introduction about myself is I'm a young man. I'm aged uh, 30, 30 years old. Uh, I am currently the Managing Director of Compulink Systems, a world-class systems integration house. Um, that offers uh, business value uh, ICT solutions that drive industry and, and commerce. Um, I'm a Christian, um, I love God, I serve in the house of God, and um, yeah, I think that's, that's a, a high level, a high level summary. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm sure you can agree with me that um, you, your journey started at a young age, your journey of entrepreneurship, or how you dived into entrepreneurship. I think it was a bit 1918 thereabout. Yes, um, please do take us through that journey, and then how you, um, you, then, you then got appointed to be the managing director of, of CompuLeak Systems. Yeah. Great. Thanks so much, Coach Tindai. Um, I, would, I would like to say my journey of uh, entrepreneurship is uh, somewhat serendipity um, in how everything uh, transpired and, and everything uh, occurred and happened. Um, I finished my high school education in the year 2009. And um, when I finished, um, my dad was very, very keen for me to, to get involved. So the day uh, what we term our A-level break began, um, you know, my dad would look at me every day he got home and be like, Simon, uh, what are you doing with your time? Simon, what are you doing with your time? And, um, you know, thankful, thankful because of that nudge, I then uh, came, came on board and, and joined, uh, joined the family business at Compulink Systems. Uh, so my first task and my first role in the business, um, I was really thrown into the deep end. Um, my dad gave me a task in the stores department. Um, and basically that task was to reconcile uh, all goods that were issued out and reconcile it to our stock position. Um, and that was over a period of about one year. So that was a very... Uh, taxing process, um, but I learned a lot from that um, patience um, and and you know perseverance. So so I, I got chucked into the deep end, and um, um, really that's that's where it all began. Um, when when I was within the stores department, um, my parents were very generous with me, in that they shared with me information concerning the whole business. Um, so even though I was in the stores department, I learned about sales, I learned about uh, our procurement cycle, uh, I learned about finance, um, they showed me financial reports, I learned about HR issues, and uh, that was really, really helpful and very, very useful in, in grooming me and, and, and nurturing me um, in, in, into knowing more about, about the business. Um, as time progressed within the business, um, as many of you know, you know, 2009 was a, a tough period. That's when we just about dollarized. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, times were tough. <laughs> um, and times were also tough for the business then. Um, so 
at the time we we, we made a, a discovery that uh, you know the general manager at the time within the business was was sort of siphoning business um, to uh, a shadow business that he had created um, so basically uh, you know every compiling quotation went out with uh, his quotation with a more favorable price and offer um, so things were tough and you know one of the things that happened first is the finance people are the first people to know because they can sound the alarm that each you know these books things are not adding up <laughs> so um we had an avalanche of um you know uh, resignations uh, people leaving the business and uh looking for greener pastures um and when that took place um um, you know, I was working with my elder brother as well at the time. Um, we really had to, um, uh, you know, shoulder more responsibility. So uh, I wasn't now only looking after procurement. I was also now invoicing. I was uh, doing a whole host of uh, other activities. And, and my parents also were called upon to do a, a whole host of other activities. So uh, at that stage, um, I grew from just being in the stores department to now also uh, doing sales as well. Um, and um, as, as that happened, um, obviously the general manager had to go at the time. But you know, there were a lot of projects that were left hanging, a lot of opportunities that were left hanging. More resignations came um, in the sales department. So, so really, um, I was thrust from uh, you know, basically being a stores clerk um, to, to now um, being part of the accounts receivable team in terms of sending out invoices, but now also actually uh, being actively involved in, in sales. Um, so, so when that happened and the general manager then went, um, I became a networking sales executive. And as things normalized and, and improved, I then uh, head the sales and marketing department of the networking business unit. Um, which was very exciting and you know one of the exciting things that we managed to do was um, in one of the years we, we grew the gross profit by by 200% wow. um, you know for that business unit and probably the whole business holistically mm -hmm. um, and yeah that's that's just testimony of the grace of God and, wow. and perseverance Wow, oh, that's amazing. Uh, wow, what, what an inspiring journey really 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 <laughs> yeah uh, so Mr. Yamuda, uh, one of the key things that I'm imagining right now is you are you, you enter into this business world. Um, you are young, and you know most of us young people at that time, that age. I think most of your peers were doing something else. You know, some of them. How did that experience um, even shape you into the person that you are today? You know, yeah. Yeah, no, no, that's, that's definitely a, a good point and a, a very, very uh, pertinent point as well. Um, you know, really, if you're going to chase your uh, goal, your journey, there's always going to be an opportunity cost. Yeah. <laughs> okay. um, and, and really, at the time, you know, I, I, I definitely didn't have much free time. So, um, you know, I had to sacrifice in, in that regard. Fortunately, at the time, most of my, my friends from high school were overseas. Mm -hmm. um, so I really uh, had time to really focus, focus on myself. And I think, um, you know, for any young person who's growing, there's a time where, uh, you know, you need to actually focus on yourself. So you need to be alone. So a time of separation, a time of introspection, but really it was a time of, of rapid growth because uh, there were definitely far less, far less distractions. So I'll say, yes, it's good to be alone, uh, not lonely, but, um, but, but really definitely young people need to find a time to be alone and, and just focus on their craft and focus on their journey. Wow. And I'm sure our young people are learning from this that at times you need to be alone and learn from your craft. Oh, that's amazing. Um, thank you very much, Mr. Nyambuda, for that. So now you, you have been appointed the managing director of Compulix Systems, right? And from your appointment, um, I'm sure you, you, you can agree with me that the company skyrocketed. You know, um, there were some awards. Uh, you won some, some, some awards. Would you care to share, to share with, with us some of those awards that you won? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, so, so I was appointed the managing director in 2013. Um, so at the tender age of 22 years old, um, and yeah, it was <laughs> a 
quite quite a daunting um, a daunting thing at the time, but um, yeah, God's grace was was all sufficient. Um, you know, even post that appointment, you know, the grace of God was 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 there. Um, so, in terms of awards, some of the awards that um, that we've gotten as an organization and and myself. Um, in the year 2013 or for the financial year of 2013 one of our business partners um, for the manufacturers we support cisco systems um, they're probably the leading networking uh, business in the world um, um, acknowledged our business for sales acceleration uh, within the region and uh, I basically received an award for, for sales acceleration within our region. And, and that was a very special award uh, because it was looking at um, three regions per se. Uh, so it was looking at Europe, Middle East, um, Africa, and Russia. So it's a region they call EMEA. And um, only uh, that year, five uh, companies in, in, in the whole of Africa um, achieved this recognition. Um, so that was, that was very, very a special, very special time, a very special award. Um, you know, to be uh, given that award next to companies such as Dimension Data uh, in South Africa, which is probably, you know, one of the largest ICT, ICT companies. Wow. Um, so, so that was definitely a, a very special, um, a very special award. Um, in 2015, uh, we were recognized by uh, the Megafest um, uh, Business Awards and um, we received an award as the most outstanding ICT company um, in the whole country. So that was also a very, very special um, recognition for, for, for the whole company. Um, in 2016, we, we got an award for the... Um, uh, local legends, uh, small to medium enterprises, Association of Zimbabwe, uh, local uh, legends award. Um, so we got a runners up award for customer service excellence, um, which 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 was which was very very great. As an organisation, we are very customer centric, and um, we strive to to give the best uh, customer experience. Uh, possible so that was a very uh, a very special special award um, in 2018 um, the Zimbabwe National uh, Chamber of Commerce um, acknowledged us and um, as Compulink Systems we we received the um, small to medium uh, enterprise enterprise award uh, for the Mashonaland region um, and um, in their awards, which then happened in, in July that year, we were also acknowledged with um, the Small to Medium Enterprise Award uh, for the nation. Uh, so again, that was also a very special, uh, special recognition uh, for, the, for the organization. Um, then in, in 2020, I received uh, an award from uh, the Institute of Directors of, of, of Zimbabwe uh, as the Young Director of the Year. Uh, again, that was very, very special. Um, and um, yeah, also, also a pleasant surprise as well. <laughs> um, and and um, then also close to the end of 2020 um, at the Institute of Corporate Directors of Zimbabwe uh, um, Awards, uh, I received four, uh, four, 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 four runner-up awards, um, uh, which, which, which was also, you know, um, the grace of God. So one of them was, uh, you know, Young Director of the Year, Family Director of the Year, um, um, yeah, and, and, and two more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 all right. Ah, that's fine. Ah, thank you very much, Mr. Nyamuda. And I'm sure our viewers are actually being inspired by, by that story of whereby you, you started off business at a very young age. And, you know, you then take over and the business starts, you know, getting all those awards and, and things like that. Ah, congratulations on that and congratulations on those awards. Um, viewers, um, please do stay tuned after we take a short commercial break. Please keep liking, sharing and commenting on this particular broadcast.
ladies and welcome back ladies and gentlemen and thank you for liking sharing and commenting on this broadcast um today i'm in, i'm in studio with uh, mr simon nyamuda and we are um just having a conversation and a talk around his, his journey uh, mr nyamuda uh, before the break you were talking about your awards um, yes, you mentioned uh, about the multiple awards that you have won in business. Um, but I'm sure for you to be the person that you are, you know, there are certain principles maybe that have, 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 have drove you, you know, and that keep inspiring you to do what it is that you do. Um, I, I'm keen to know, and, and I'm sure our viewers would be curious to know, what are the top five principles you would say have shaped you um, into becoming the person that you are today? All right, thanks, thanks so much, Coach Tendai. Um, I think five principles um, that have really um, helped me in this journey and, and continue to help me uh, in no particular order. Uh, I think the first one would be uh, integrity. Um, we live in a generation where, you know, a lot of young people want instant, instant success, um, but, um, you know, the journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step. And, um, you know, sometimes just that small uh, incremental progress um, takes, you, takes you places. And another thing on integrity is that, you know, there's no, there's no shortcuts. Um, uh, usually whenever I've tried to make a, a shortcut, it's, it's resulted in, in pain, consequences, and it actually being a longer, a longer journey. So, so really integrity has, has been one of the, one of the things that, that, that have really uh, guided me as, as a guiding principle. The other one is, um, I'll say hard work, hard work and, 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 and dedication. Um, you know, just, um, you know, being able to constantly show up um, constantly showing up even when you don't feel like it, it's, it's very critical and, 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 and pertinent just to keep keeping on and, and keep pressing on. So, so hard work and, and dedication um, is definitely, is definitely uh, another thing that, 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 has been, that has been key. Um, another one would, would definitely be, be perseverance. Um, you know, the ability to, to keep keep keeping on, um, so per perseverance and endurance, um, you know, you just got to keep, keep, keep pressing on and, and keep, keep fighting the fight. Um, you know, Dr. Edwin Lewis Cole says that, you know, perseverance always outlasts persecution. And in Zimbabwe, you know, there's so much persecution, there's so much to complain about, um, but we just got to keep on enduring and, and keep, keep fighting the good fight, keep fighting the good fight of faith. Um, and um, another another key key principle um, is 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 definitely continuous learning. Um, you know the ability to to, to keep on uh, learning. Um, you know uh, having a kaizen approach. How do you do things better? Um, is 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 definitely been been key. And then and then you know the last the last one and 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 the highest on the list is really just been 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 faith in God. Um, just knowing that you know God is the author and the perfecter um, of 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 my faith and and um, really that's always been my compass and and that's always kept me grounded um, mm. through throughout the way. Wow. Oh, amazing principles there, you know, but integrity, uh, wow, and integrity really plays a key role in, 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 in our lives. And I'm sure our viewers are learning from, from, from what you have shared. Um, Mr. Nyambuda, um, you are not only just an entrepreneur, um, you are also involved in philanthropic works. Um, please do share with us some of the philanthropic works that you are involved in. And, and yeah, just, just a little bit about your philanthropic work. All right, thanks, thanks so much, Coach Tendai. Um, yeah, so, so as an organization, we, um, you know, are very, very conscious of, uh, you know, reinvesting, investing into our people, um, investing into, into society at large. And, um, you know, we've, we've uh, participated in um, sponsoring a number of uh, um, competitions, uh, even within the ICT sector. Uh, we've partnered with universities, we've partnered with uh, high schools um, and colleges in, in sponsoring various awards for, for various various initiatives. 
um, that they do have. Uh, internally, we, we, we um, uh, also have sponsored and sold uh, into the less privileged, um, uh, into, into a number of uh, initiatives um, to, to you know, just propel and, and to help those who are without. Um, you know, we believe um, that giving, giving um, you know, is, is unlocks, unlocks something. And, you know, the word of God says it's more blessed to, to, to give than to receive. Um, so we've also been, been involved in donating various ICT equipment, um, setting up networking, um, even to, to, to various uh, non-for-profit organizations. Um, just to just to assist and just to propel, and um, you know we are in the process of actually um, setting up a foundation to actually formalize uh, our philanthropic uh, initiatives. Oh wow, that's amazing! That's amazing, um, Mr. Nyamuda. Um, this question um, that I'm asking now, um, I'm going to start off by quoting. You know, I like using quotes when I'm asking these questions. So it says that everything starts and ends in the mind. You know, um, for you to be where you are today, I think you envisioned it in your mind and um, it's now becoming a reality. I would then ask you, um, with that state, statement in mind, five years from now, where do you see yourself? You know, where do you see Compulic Systems at and where do you see even yourself at? Great. Yeah, that's, that's an, awesome, uh, an awesome question. And, and definitely it's, 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 it's powerful for us to... Uh, visualize where we would like to go. Uh, we need to visualize, we need to verbalize, and um, you know, that then results in the vibrations, in, in you know, the kinetic movement of us then achieving our, our goals and dreams. Um, so, you know, where I see the organization five years from now, I, I see the organization, uh, you know, being operational regionally. Um, you know, in, in, in the SADAC region. So, so us growing uh, our branches and, and, and growing our footprint, uh, um, definitely I, I see that happening. Um, uh, at, an individual, at an individual scale and as an organizational scale, um, uh, one of the things which, which we spoke about is that foundation. I also see us having more of a footprint in affecting the day-to-day -day lives of people through the use of ICTs, um, but also uh, sowing, sowing into, into the less privileged um, through various initiatives. Um, I see our product uh, line and offering growing uh, from the traditional services that we've offered um, into uh, a far much more uh, robust portfolio of, of services. And um, uh, some of those initiatives we're already working on now, so definitely watch the space uh, for, for more of the services and products that we, we're going to be um, rolling out. Oh, wow. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Nyamuda, for, for, for sharing that. Um, it's, it's, it's in, and I think it's a lesson to actually our viewers that it's, it's important to visualize what it, what it is that you intend to achieve in the future because everything starts and ends in the mind. Okay, uh, so moving on, Mr. Nyamuda. I'm sure there are some there are some books you would recommend entrepreneurs to read um, that have developed you and molded you into the person that you are. Uh, I believe that personal development is key, you know, in the attainment of success. Uh, what would be maybe one or two books that you feel are important um, that entrepreneurs should read? You know, um, I think the first one I would say is Napoleon Hill, uh, Think and Grow Rich. Uh, definitely, definitely a powerful, uh, powerful book. Um, the second book I would uh, recommend is by Rory Vaden, and it's called uh, Take the Stairs. Um, it's definitely a book about self-discipline um, and, you know, how to grow in self-discipline and, and, and to, to mold yourself, your habits and, and, and uh, uh, nurture, nurture that. Uh, the last book, uh, which, which I'll definitely say um, is a very, a very good one for anyone who's venturing into entrepreneurship or leadership, uh, would be Intentional Leadership uh, by John, John C. Maxwell. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, indeed, uh, personal development is key in the attainment of success. So, Mr. Nyamuda, um, thank you very much for coming through to the show. I think uh, we have learned a lot from your journey, from, from everything that you have shared with us. Um, so what would be your last words of motivation for, for the viewers and 
um, please do share with us also the social media pages where people can follow your business and also follow you um, as an individual yeah okay great thanks thanks so much uh, coach coach Tendai um, really my my parting words um, you know for any budding entrepreneur is um, you know really the journey towards uh, success is um, is incremental so it's a step-by-step -step journey and uh, do not despise the days of humble beginnings and um, you know to those who are looking to succeed and excel um, the level of your success uh, the level of um, uh, your recognition is directly proportional to the problems you solve um, so really um, to all the budding entrepreneurs or aspiring entrepreneurs, um, go out there and look to solve problems. Uh, go out there and come up with solutions. Um, if you look at Joseph within the Bible, um, he was all about solving solutions. Um, so so to, to the viewers or anyone who's looking to excel, look, succeed in their craft, uh, go out there and, and solve, solve problems. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you very much, Mr. Nyamuda. And, um, yeah, solving problems is really important, you know, because um, the, 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 the problems you solve will determine the, the, the value actually that you have as an individual. So thank you very much for, for actually sharing that also in your last words. Yeah. And uh, then so on, the, on the social media pages um, for, for CompuLink, uh, you can follow us on uh, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, uh, Instagram. Uh, the pages are, are uh, CompuLink systems uh, on, on all the pages. Please do feel free to, to follow those, those handles and pages. Thank you very much, Mr. Anyamuda. And once again, thank you for coming through to the show. Uh, we are honored to be having such great people um, on the show. Um, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Um, this marks the end of our show. Um, thank you very much for tuning in and um, please do follow us um, it's success talks with coach team Ngate on all social media platforms facebook instagram if you're watching from youtube please don't forget to click the subscribe button by the corner there uh, from me um, and the crew behind the scenes the dreams production crew it's a wrap mm -hmm.